day out here in the Pacific Northwest and today we're going to be talking about Trials of Reckoning, the formation that I've kind of settled on along with some tips that you might utilize for different compositions or different units regarding positions, killing the ads, and kind of anything that you might be able to use to your advantage. Let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> All right, everybody. So there is a lot going on here for Trials of Reckoning. Uh, this is going to be for the Trials of Reckoning hard boss setup. Uh, you can use these tips for normal setup. You can use this for your setup if you don't have these units. I tried to go with a very easy generic composition that a lot of people have access to. Um, that's going to be, you know, Rosa can easily be replaced with Niv Lu. Um, most people have Cecil. If you don't have Cecil, of course, you can sub in another unit that has a light slash like Elena or any other light element unit. Uh, but the primary focus of this party uh, is going to be light slash. Now, I do have all of the Final Fantasy IV bonus units, and this composition actually works better than if I had Golbez and Kane in. The reason why is because they effectively kill quickly they rack up that slash chain bonus and rosa kills the ads the most important elements here are the first four uh cecil in slot one elsewhere in slot two uh of course one big thing here i do have keen blade from rob's tmr which raises slash attack in ct this is a pretty big part of the strategy uh if you don't have this you could probably utilize another ap generation tmr on El Sorel. you're just going to have to kind of play around and mess around with your composition a bit uh lucio i have at 110 uh Ildira, I have it 109. Now, you can do this formation with Ildira at 99. Uh, we did successfully run the composition and get 10k pretty easily with Ildira at level 99. However, the reason I'm leveling her to 120 right now is because I am, she gets really close to killing one of the ads by one-shotting them. And so I think I will be able to be possible to push 11k 11.5k if i do have ildira 120 uh now this is not for sure this is kind of something that is live and actively being worked on right now uh so that's kind of the situation with ildira she does not need to be hexed uh cecil does need to be 120 now the reason cecil is 120 uh is going to be reckoning of light uh we want him to use his ranged ability which is this ability and it's a two hit chain uh you can use shining double uh if you don't have your cecil 120 the one thing about cecil using shining double though is you want to gonna want to make sure that lucio uh, has a ranged ability on so that might be um for me i would turn on where is it uh luminescent arc uh the reason why is because this is a very awkwardly shaped long range ability uh so he's not gonna like run forward and use it all the time uh like he might use with uh crescent break here so uh that's just kind of things to keep in mind make sure your units don't only have short range attacks you're going to want to have long range attacks uh and you're going to want to kill the ads Ildira is going to have to have high agility. Now, if you don't have Ildira, let's say you have Golbez, make sure Golbez has high agility. Golbez and Ildira can both kill the adds in one shot right away. Ildira is, of course, obviously better because you do get bonus points from an elemental type advantage against your opponents. Uh, so if you use a light element attack, uh, like Ildira's holy attack, uh, it is going to have an advantage over dark element monsters. Rosa literally just kills the adds. Rosa is here for bonus points and to kill the ads you could change rosa with nivlu um if you needed more light chaining power uh you could put rosa on with holy uh and you know have her chain light with the other party members uh there's a lot you could do with rosa you or at least I have her using Bewitching Boots, uh, which does give range one, which is needed for reaching the ads. Um, otherwise, you might get into some awkward shenanigans. Um, she does have her range up passive on as well. Uh, she also has Summer Sharpshooter. Lilith's glasses work just as well for this. Uh, you just need to boost her range as much as possible. In terms of support abilities, like Tux is asking, uh, Savior of the Blue Planet, Self-Sacrifice on Cecil, uh, El Sorel is going to have Tune Up and Nightblade Mastery. Uh, Lucio is going to have Illumed Swordsmanship, Luminous Conditioning. Uh, Ildira is, of course, going to have Magic Up, level 4 to level 3. And Rosa is going to have Blessing of Ice and Deep Love. Let's go ahead and run the formation here. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about what's going on as we go through it. Again, you might not have this exact formation, but you can likely utilize kind of what I learned, what I'm applying here uh, in your account in some way to win. 
One other thing, uh, you'll notice that I have glasses on El Sorel here. Uh, glasses give an AP bonus. Uh, so she doesn't have an AP generation TMR, but she does have additional AP on it. Uh, we'll highlight it here. You can see it gives AP 16. Uh, is going to help her to make sure that she can use Drain Rush kind of as we're going through. Let's go ahead and start it up here. Uh, and you're going to see a lot of synergy happening. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, one thing to note, if your Lucio or Cecil are a little bit weak and they get poisoned by Golbez, there's a possibility that one of your units might die. But here's uh, Ildira going forward. Holy is the only ability that she has on. Again, she's moving further than any of the other units. Uh, so she is going to kill the adds first. Then we have all of our AP buffing. It's important El Sorel goes last here because she's going to run forward and Keen Blade the four of them. Remember, the four of those units are kind of what I'm using to chain Golbez down. Yildira going to pop another holy here, and that's going to start the light chain. Uh, now, it is important here, notice how it's set up where Ildira is starting the chain so that I'm actually chaining light and slash here for additional damage. If you can agility tune your units that way um, so that Ildira goes first, that is pretty important. Rosa going to take out the add here, which is going to be very beneficial. Now, you'll see those light elements moving in. This is where I said Ildira is not able to kill the adds. You'll see Ildira pop a holy here, which will clip one of the adds, but it will just barely kill it. And that's kind of where I'm like, okay, we need to find a way to actually kill that add, which is why we wanted to level Ildira to 120. We have Cecil killing with the two-hit attack here, uh, and we did get a good damage over, which helps us with our final score. And this is going to put us at around 10,600. My highest score, uh, which is about 11k, actually came when I put all the bonus units in, and I kind of let them do what they want and run rampant. So it's very easy, especially if you don't have every single bonus unit. Uh, as long as you have some of these units, and you don't even have to have them 120, uh, in your composition, you should be pretty easily able to get a 9.5k here uh, and kind of increase your damage. Now, again, when Ildira is 120 and is able to kill that ad, I'm expecting a higher score. Uh, I'm also expecting Ildira to deal more damage to Golbez, which means that Cecil will be overkilling Golbez a little bit more, uh, which should mean a higher score as well. So I'm expecting uh, once my Ildira is kind of maxed out, I should see a score of about 11,000 to 11,500 auto. Now, things can go wrong with Rosa if you are trying to have her just kill ads. You're going to need to watch her uh, because if you have, if she maybe her agility is in the wrong spot or you don't have a range buff bonus or the right amount of range plus on her, uh, she's going to go wild off to the side. She's potentially going to ruin your chains by casting Ice Arrow on Golbez, which is not what you want. Um, this is kind of, you know, this is like, that's like the danger. Like you don't want that. So um, that's what I would recommend. Uh, Vespo is saying in chat he wants to see the space Kraken composition. And this was actually my space Kraken composition when I was running it. Um, of course, the espers were changed a little bit. And this does work. It gets messy. Uh, I would say it is not optimal. I would say if you're going to run a space Kraken, as we would call it, setup, or a all bonus unit setup, one of the things I would do is I would make sure that Rosa is in slot one or slot five, and I would make sure that she has Lilith sunglasses, because if she has Lilith sunglasses and she's in slot one and slot five, the only thing she will do will kill the ads, so she's not going to ruin your chain. Uh, so potentially you could at least chain slash with Cecil, Lucio, and Kane. Uh, you can also adjust the AI a bit with Kane to try and get Kane to use his LB to slow Golbez. That's kind of the way it was back in the day is you would try and have Kane slow Golbez. Um, viable strategy if you're going for like a longer term fight, uh, but most people are going to want the fastest kill possible. And right now, light element attacks are going to be the fastest kill possible. So um, mostly I would recommend kind of these units here. Thankfully, Lucio and Old Zira are both free. Most people have El Sorel and you can exchange Rosa with Nivlu. You may, I can't remember if... I don't think Lucia is a bonus unit. Lucia is not a bonus unit, right? Even though her EX came out, she might be a medium bonus unit. Let's take a look real quick. Because <laughs> you may be able to use uh, Lucia uh, if she is a medium bonus unit here. Uh, yeah, so you could potentially use Lucia. 
uh, with Sharpshoot probably to take out the ads. Uh, you could also use Joom for slash chaining. Uh, so you can use Joom or Ray Chess if you are going for a mono slash composition. Uh, Black Rose Helena for slash chaining as well. Uh, the problem is once you get down to the 107 bonus units, uh, what happens is it's less valuable than actually adding like potentially a very synergistic element to your party. Uh, so the 107 bonus units really have to add something to your composition. Uh, otherwise they will probably hurt your overall score if you have like a large bonus unit that you could slot in anyway. So uh, keep that in mind. Even here, you know, I have Rob's VC set. Um, I have these VCs set on my units it's quite possible that it would actually be better for me to take the Rob VC off, to take the Fry's SVC off, and to put in more synergistic VCs for a rainbow formation, uh, such as like Ifrit for attack up. Um, it's not something I've experimented with, but you know, it's something to factor in if you don't have all of the bonus VCs, you can actually be stronger in other ways by buffing your units in that way as well. But um, if you wanna see more details on how we kind of came to this composition and what we did, um, I did my Trials of Rec stream uh, yesterday uh, and you can go and watch the VOD it's on my YouTube channel and uh, you can actually see how we kind of experimented the different things that we've done if you're a new player you can watch that to get an idea of how you adjust abilities how you tune agility how you turn things off and on in order to optimize your score uh, and that's kind of the best way to go about it anyway everybody thank you so much for watching hope you guys all have a great rest of your day uh, and I will see you guys next time